You know about him, um, Officer Christian. Do you know a little um, bit about him? Not really. It's the only thing I know. He's a big masturbator. He's known to be a big masturbator. Yes. In public, at the guards, yes. at the female guards. Yes. Some of your report before meeting you, and you've been in trouble for uh, for gunning officers. What is that? Masturbating at oh, them. Okay, okay. <laughs> Put y'all outside out. I can't I hear you. What? What's? Uh, can you explain that? Explain what? Why you did that? It's nothing to explain. It's just for gratification. You know, it relieved me. You don't feel embarrassed or ashamed to do that? Embarrassed? Nah. Why should I feel embarrassed? You you don't you, you you don't understand why that would be shameful or embarrassing? Not at all. And so, do you understand that officers don't li like that, or members of the public don't like that? You know what I be telling them? Eat it up and write it up. Eat it up. <laughs> Eat it up like you eating food. Yeah. But all that relate to once before in the correction facility, we was able to get magazines. We was able to get things to maintain our, you know, why we here. But you know, the system messed up now, so you know. Pornographic magazines. Something like that. You're saying you feel you are entitled to some kind of stimulation. Of course. Why? I'm human, right? At the end of the day, I don't mean no harm. You know, I just do what I do and I fall back. He's making out that it's, um, no harm is intended, that it's basically harmless. That's not harmless. That's like very disrespectful. That's like, you know, you try to do everything you can for them. And then for them to disrespect you and pull out their private parts on you, that's very degrading. You know, it's just disrespectful. OK, it's human to masturbate, but not but at look, a, another person right who's trying to do their job. Listen, now you got certain officers who will go out their way like they say and, I, you know, give you they might give you extra sandwiches, they might look up your court date, you know, give you a little free time. Then the ones you don't, you know, you don't disrespect. But when you got them ones that coming in like they peering on and they like they mad at the world and this and that, that and that, then okay, okay, this how I'm living. Go get your supervisor, I do it them too. You know? Do you think that's um that's how you feel about that? Say say that again. How do you feel about masturbation? This I, is a male facility. I mean, it's going on three years, not to make no excuses. We incarcerated, we locked down all day, 24 hours. How do you feel about that? Well, I, you know, I think you should do it in private. Private? Mm hmm You say you recognize that it's disrespectful, so why not, why, why can't you stop yourself doing it? It's an addiction. This ain't something you could just stop overnight, you know, it's an addiction. When you used to doing something for so long, it's like, yeah, hey, you know. Quite unusual how open he is, how unashamed he is. But nine times out of ten, if they're a masturbator, habitual masturbator, they don't have no shame anyway. They don't care. Habitual masturbator, that's a new word. Wow. That's a new word, habitual masturbator. 